Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Mind Flood. In today's video, we're going to talk about popular misconceptions about Minecraft. But before we jump into our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more of such amazing content. Also, turn on the bell icon to receive our latest updates. All right, let's begin. The story of Herobrine is real. This is basically the oldest myth of Minecraft. Herobrine is a concept that declines to die in the minds of fans as Mojang themselves have aired the flames. Herobrine was a character spawned from creepypasta. Some stories claim it to be Notch's dead brother, while others believe that a scorned Mojang employee added it, but they all agree that it was bad news if he emerged in a player's game. Different versions of the story are completely inaccurate, but the popularity of the creepypasta has convinced many. Even till now, people on forums profess that there used to be an unimplemented Herobrine file in the game that was eventually removed. No such file has ever prevailed in any version of the game. This belief was spawned by Mojang's in-joke of putting removed Herobrine in the patch notes to every update, but this is just a funny nod to the creepypasta. Lava prevents fall damage. A popular trick when you're diving in caves and ravines is to use water as a safe way to travel downwards. Landing in water saves you from long falls, which can be used to swim back upwards in a pinch. Doing the same with lava would actually make crossing the nether a lot easier. This property has directed various players to believe the same thing that's what's true to lava, but those players will possibly feel disappointed. Putting aside the fact that diving into lava is a bad idea at the best of times, it does not have the same properties as water and will not curb fall damage if there's a solid block quickly under it. Bad graphics is similar to bad game. Just like the gaming industry and gaming community have grown over the years, this has largely died out as a criticism of Minecraft. While large creators still push the intention that more pixels and prettier lighting are what makes the games better, audiences have also come to acknowledge that graphics are insignificant to gameplay. Well, in the early days of Minecraft, this wasn't the case as it is now. Many have written it off as a worthless game because of the unimpressive graphics. Now, in reality, Minecraft's Vossel graphics generated their own artistic style, and with developments in texture packs and shader packs over the years, the game can be just as pretty as any other game with a good working PC. Hostile mobs kill animals while this incorrect concept may seem ridiculous for any veteran player when he's in a new player's shoes, this doesn't look like an unfair one too. Hostile mobs attack the player on sight and they attack villagers, so it's not that much of a leap to assume that they'll attack the peaceful animals too. The hostile mobs ignore any animal that's in nature, which means that some animals will attack other animals if they cross them. The wolves attack the sheep in sight and the foxes attack chickens, rabbits, fish, and even baby turtles. However, polar bears will attack any mob that approaches their cubs. Minecraft invented the survival and crafting genre. This is a common misconception among young gamers who are not much familiar with the gaming's history before the early 2010s. Minecraft can definitely get a lot of credit for creating survival and crafting genre into the mainstream. It was one of the biggest innovators in the genre alongside DSC, however, Minecraft was not the first to do so. Survival games have been around for centuries, with various board games using mechanisms that modern players would recognize. In terms of video games, Robinson's Requiem was released in 1994, and while it's not very advanced, it has all the hallmarks of being survival and modern craftsmanship. Diamonds are more likely to spawn near lava. This is another myth that's quite popular among Minecraft fans, and there's no surprise why it's so famous. Minecraft caves sometimes generate vast lava pools, which usually have a lot of air in them. It's not uncommon that players find diamonds that are hidden in the walls around these lava pools, and some have hired that. This means that diamonds have better chances of spawning near lava. However, this is not true. Diamonds are closer to large lava puddles because there are more blocks on the usual screen. Many blocks are usually covered in a normal cave, but lava pools create a large open area where minerals can be seen more easily. It's a fair assumption for the most recent players to commit, but this is a case in which the correlation is not equal to the cause. That's it for today's video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.